Welcome back to the shooting channel. Is this the best Italian gun for just over a thousand pounds? I've got the Bettenzoli Deluxe. Now, looking at the gun, this is the box lock one. They do come in a side plated one. Chokes. Internal chokes comes with five. Choke key, if I put it together, it comes with ABS case. Like I said with my Caesar Greeny the other week, looking at it, it looks a very pretty gun. It's got nice wood on it, nice recoil pad on it, ventilated bowels, ventilated ribs, multi-choke, gold trigger, just like the other Italian manufacturers, made on a CNC machine, made in the same valley, in the Gondani Valley, as Caesar Greeny, Rosini. They all start at £3,000. This is just over £1,000. And if you look at each gun, if you look at how they're built, very, it looks very, very similar to all of them. So, have you got an Italian gun? What do you think the Italian guns are worth? And why do you think some Italian guns are £3,000, some are £1,000, £1,200? I'd love to hear your comment, if you've got one, on what you think. Reliability, the Bettenzoli is no different to the Caesar Guarini, Rosini, Fair, Zolli. Is it advertising that makes them worth more money? Is it the fact that you've got world champion shooting it? Could a world champion win a world championships with this gun? It's really interesting. They're all made within 10 minutes of each other. It's really, really fantastic. And it's interesting to see what people think. And there's massive questions. If you look back on this channel, on the comments below, there's big questions on what are guns worth? Again, like I did with the Caesar Greeny, I looked on the valuations of on Gun Trader and second-hand Bettenzollies, they're still worth a couple of years old, six, seven, eight hundred pounds. So, are Bettenzoli the best Italian th gun on the market for value for money? Let's see how it shoots. Paul? Paul? Pull. Pull. As a gun, balances well. No recoil. Almost feels I pretty much identical to Caesar Greeny. The only thing I would say, a little bit more height in the comb. But as a gun, is it better? Is it worse? I'll let you guys tell me. I mean, at the end of the day, you get what you pay for, and it's what you as the shooter enjoys. Some people might say that's plain wood, some people might say the Zeke Green is plain wood, but you get what you pay for, you get what you want to spend. Everything's worth what you want to spend your money on. But it's just a good, a good way of looking at, and look at over the next couple of months, we're gonna look at three, four of the Italian gun manufacturers, and just to see what the actual difference is and I think, personally, it's about branding. It's about advertising. But generally, what it comes down to is what you want to spend your money on. Do you want to spend a thousand pound? Do you want to spend three thousand pound? Do you enjoy it? If anyone th ever thought like this, please comment below. Please let us know what you think. Please let us know value and what you think, where the gun Italian gun trade is going to go, if you've got 
different manufacturers, if you try different manufacturers, let us know what you think. Cutting out the top three, Prazzi, Beretta, Fausti, because they are quite hand-built. Those three are quite um, the top ones. But all the others, you can't knock that gun. You can't knock the Caesar Greeny. They're both good value for money guns. Let's shoot a couple more. Paul. Paul. As a gun, a well-balanced gun. I hope you've enjoyed this film. If you've got an Italian gun, man, gun, please comment below on what you think and what you think I said. Be interesting to see what guns you feel are worth what money. I hope you enjoyed this film. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.